we want to kind of wrap up our lecture on uh, diffusion by kind of pointing out that lecture, or excuse me, not lecture, but diffusion depends on the local environment. So uh, it's important to realize that diffusion um, is going to be different for any materials, and it's also going to depend on the local environment. So if there are defects, dislocations, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And we can actually make some predictions based on the relative diffusivities uh, in the different environments. So let's think about diffusion in a dislocation or near dislocation versus along a grain boundary or a free surface or in the bulk crystal um, uh, or in a liquid. How do you think that those materials are going to kind of diffuse differently? So, for example, if I have this lattice, my perfect crystal, no defects. Is it going to be kind of hard to, if, I, if I'm a little kind of molecule diffusing in here, is it going to be hard to kind of diffuse among the bulk or actually here? Yeah, right? I mean, I'm going to have to wait and see and get a vacancy to kind of jump. So there's, you know, it's kind of crowded in here. Or even if there's a, you know, a molecule to kind of diffusing in here, it's a little bit difficult. But if I insert this extra half plane of atoms here, and then it ends here, and now these guys kind of squeeze together, if I'm diffusing in this area, I have a little bit more room, right, along a dislocation. I know it's compact here, but then I have some kind of extra room at the bottom, you know, compressive here, tension here. So if I have more open space, it's going to be easier to diffuse. If I have a grain boundary, so for example, if I have these planes, or actually, let's draw. If I have a grain boundary, again, atoms all within these grains, so atoms, 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 but along this grain boundary, I have room to work with. So I'm going to diffuse even faster. At a free surface, you know, where I'm just going kind of here, 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 I don't even have to worry about anybody on top of me. So I could really kind of diffuse, you know, freely. So as you kind of move across, uh, and as there's more kind of open space, a liquid would be the highest, you're going to see faster diffusion. So diffusion depends, and again, it's anisotropic, and it also depends on the local environment. So we can see that diffusivity in the liquid is the highest. The bulk crystal, so this is the bulk, no defects, is the lowest, and you start to increase. Again, this is the diffusion in you know, your dislocation or a grain boundary. Surface is higher than that. And I put the, you know, if I was just in a pure dislocation here, then I do a grain boundary there. But anyways, as you have more open space, the idea is, again, you're able to kind of move around more freely. So it'll change. Again, there's these more open space due to the defects, and the energy to migrate is going to be much lower. So you increase the diffusivity. Um, then if you're kind of, again, squeezed by atoms, you're waiting for those vibrations to move up so that you can kind of jump. So that's the kind of the last and the key idea um, for kind of this lecture, uh, lecture four and kind of just diffusion. So next time we are going to get into lecture, oops, not piece five. We're going to get into lecture five, which is going to be all about phase diagrams. So invariant points, lots of kind of fun things, energy gives phase rule. So I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks. Bye.